Port of Colombo that was very significant um, to, to the British it lies on the major shipping route from China round India to the Middle East through the Suez Canal and thence to, to, to Europe. The old port was constructed under the supervision of the highly competent engineer, Mr. John Kyle, and was completed in 1885 for the princely sum of £700,000, which in today's money is uh, about £90, 90 million, pounds, and um, has proved to be very good value for money. When Singapore became independent, Lee Kuan Yew, the first president of uh, Singapore, said his dream was to make Singapore as prosperous as Sri Lanka. And Sri Lanka was prosperous because it had the port of Colombo. ACOM uh, became involved with the port of Colombo when, when the government of Sri Lanka uh, decided that they needed a larger port. Um, and they could see that the, their port was no longer retaining its place in, in the top rank of world ports. With the assistance of the Asian Development Bank, the Port Authority decided to, to build a new port to allow the country to develop for the future. So they commissioned us to do a study and then we looked at the uh, best way to improve the efficiency of the existing port and how to develop a new port and to make it work. Mr. Carl was an excellent engineer but also left a, a very useful record of his works in the proceedings of the Institution of Civil Engineer. He researched the project at the beginning and came across paper, the papers that he had written in which he advised that the port was seriously damaged during construction on, by three major storms. And so we warned the Port Authority to make them fully aware of the risks. In 2007, I was very fortunate to be asked by ACOM to take up the role of engineer on behalf of the Sri Lanka Ports Authority. Construction started in 2008. Fairly soon on, a storm hit and we lost a few barges. In May that same year, a major storm hit and we lost 500 metres of breakwater. But fortunately, the contractor I and I was well prepared and rapidly rebuilt the, the damage and successfully completed the project in 2011. So now Sri Lanka has a new 300 million pound harbour which when fully developed will allow a fourfold expansion of the Sri Lankan economy with major benefits to the country and its people. The new port consists of a five kilometre long breakwater extending out from the existing port, from the old port, and provides for three modern container terminals with three berths for 400 metre long container ships with 16 metre draft that each can take 18,000 20 foot boxes. My career has taken me not only to Sri Lanka, but also to Papua New Guinea, Thailand, Egypt, Brazil and even Mauritania. I have met and worked with people from many cultures in fascinating countries, which is a really great way to, to see life. So if you're interested in people, if you're interested in the world, or if you just want to make the world a better place, engineering is a great career.